Welcome back, Warriors, to another Apex Legends video. Today, we're going to be going over all the callouts and comms that you need to know in Apex Legends. Let's jump right into it. Welcome back, guys. Today, we're going to be going over all the comms that you need to know in Apex Legends. Now, these comms, I know everybody's not going to be able to master them. There's a lot of information I'm going to give in this video, but these tips are going to help you play like a pro. They're going to boost your confidence in this game. And also, most of all, you're going to have fun. Just as a reminder, guys, I do stream on Twitch every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The link is going to be down in the description below. If you have any questions about this video and want to chill, join us over there. Now, these are all the main call-offs that you need to know in Apex Legends. These guys are going to help your guys' gameplay a lot, okay? Now, we're going to break each one of these down, and after which, I got some clips to show you so you can see how they work in a live environment so you can apply them to the next time you play. So, we have Locate, Movement, Legends, Shields, Damage, and then Healing. Now, each one of these categories, I'm going to break down and kind of define how you should use these call-outs. These are what they're going to be most effective or the generalized keyword that you need to know for this so the first one is locate locate is pretty simple when you're out on the field of battle in in king's canyon you're at world's edge it's all about locating your enemy all right so if we have an enemy right here this guy's my enemy we've located him okay you want to locate your enemy and tell your teammates where they are so you want to go hey on my ping on my ping or if they don't hear that your legend will call it out okay but you always want to S try to locate the enemy and then ping where they are i know this is a basic term but some people do not do it i've seen people that i've played with or when i'm playing randos or with randos they just go into a fight they'll just they'll just see somebody and they'll charge down they won't say anything if they don't have any comms and if they don't have or if they do have comms they don't say anything and if they don't have comms they second guys is movement okay so now this is a tricky one this is kind of something that i've developed and i see some other people using especially when you're from a distance from your enemy okay so let's say this is my guy here or better yet this so if that target is my enemy you want to go hey legends here moving right to left okay right to left movement or left to right movement hey they're moving left to right and you always want to call out if they're doing something like hey hey they're, they're right here moving left to right going into a building or going into that gully into that hill oh they're riding the zip line left to right or right to left this is a huge thing or what you can do is i use this a lot i go here they are they're left to right on my ping left to right on my ping now all these call outs are great because it's going to let your teammates know hey if i look on the map or if i look ahead and see where the ping is i know the legends that or the enemy that's that we're going to fight are left to right right to left up or down or hey on my ping going up that zip line right so now you know hey if i look at this ping and i look up up that zip line identify where the zip line is and they're moving up you're going to be able to see where they're going so that way it gives your teammates an idea of where the enemy is so they don't get caught off guard this is a great way to show where the enemy is and your teammate can flank all right next up is legend so after you've located your enemy you've identified their movement on where they're going you want to identify the legends that you're going to be fighting so i know these are dummies but let's say this is rape you want to go Enemy ahead or on my ping moving left to right Wraith or Wraith Gibby Pathfinder. If you can identify more legends, the better. That way you can give your teammates an idea of what legends that they're going to be fighting. Okay. On top of knowing who they're fighting, it's going to give your teammates an idea of what abilities those legends that they're going to face are. Whether it's Wraith and they can portal. You got Pathfinder that can, you know, have has ultimate mobility and can zip line them out. Especially Gibby if they drop a dome shield and an ultimate. You're going to go in knowing or should know the abilities of the legends that you're about to fight. So you can gauge on what your next plan is. You know, whether it's fighting from a distance or charging in with the R9 and just slaying. So these are all things that you need to identify when you're trying to call out enemies. So a good way to go through what we have now is locate the enemy. Right oh, hey, Get legends right here. here, moving left or right to left. Okay, going into that, uh, onto those rocks. Oh, legends right here on my ping, moving left to right. It's a Wraith and Gibby. I don't know where the third one is. You know, so this that right there gives your teammates a, a lot of valuable information. And this information is key, especially when you're wanting to win, you know, gunfight after gunfight. I've seen it so many times where, like, you have no idea what's going on. Nobody's calling out, and it makes... Next up is shields. Now, this is one I rarely see. I see it with the teammates that I play with, or you hear all the time from pros. It's calling out the shields. Okay, so after you've located your enemy, 
kind of identified where they're going. You've identified the legends. Next is the shields, the shield level. This is so important. I don't want to shoot at this guy knowing after I hit him that I can see purple shields and not telling my teammates. So if I shoot at this guy and that's a wraith, I can go, oh, hit wraith, purple armor. So that way everybody on my team knows that that wraith has purple armor. This is huge, okay? And right going next to that is damage. We're gonna double this up. So after you've identified the shields, and I advise this guys, in my settings of video, the link is gonna be above, I talk about having stacking on your damage. You want stacking on your damage, and this is the reason why. So if this is wraith and I shoot wraith, oh, wraith purple, 121. Hit wraith for 121 purple. This way, by telling your teammates that, if they come around the corner or they see the wraith or they're shooting at another target, they can easily whip, flank, or when they find wraith, they know that wraith has purple armor. She took 121 points of damage, which means her shield's gone and, mo and part of her health is gone. So they know she's very low. She's close to being dead. She's going to be close to being one shot. Now, another one you want to do is after, well, you know, and this can be purple, red, blue, any shields, white shields. Now, after you get this down, right? So let's say they're here or here's a perfect example. Let me get the, let me get the shield back. Here goes a perfect example. So after you hit their shields, you can go, Hey, you did him for hundred and see how low they are. You can go wraith purple shields. Oh, she's flesh. She's flesh. She's all flesh. Flesh is another call out to let your teammates know that they have no more shields. They're almost dead. Now at the same point, you can go wraith purple. Oh, she's one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot wraith. These are good call outs to let your team know that an enemy is almost dead. And there we go. One shot and they're gone. So to sum it all up, let's start from the top, guys. I don't want you guys to, to miss anything. So, And I know this is a lot of information, so take it out. You know, go cut by cut through each of these call outs. So the, going back through the list, we have locate. So we located our enemy over here. Hey, on my ping. Then we have uh, movement left to right, up, down on this item. Identify where they're at. Okay, the legends if you can identify the legends that's even better and then once you get close enough you can fire a shot let's do it all together okay so we got legends here wraith moving left to right behind this rock wraith purple armor cracked her cracked armor she's low she's low she's low one shot wraith is one shot wraith is one shot behind the rock boom so all that, I and I know it's a lot, guys, and, and, and that can make it difficult to play when you're trying to concentrate on shooting somebody. But all these things are key when it comes to helping your teammates out. And that's probably one of the biggest takeaways I can give you is just being a great teammate. So these call outs are, you know, essential and the key to victory, in my opinion, especially in Battle Royale, when the audio is bad enough and it's hard enough to really hear a lot, especially now with everything going on. You know, all the ambient noises, all the abilities, all this stuff. So these call outs are crucial. So the last one we have on the list is healing. Okay. So let's say, and this is a tough one. Okay. So let's grab, let's grab this armor because I'm going to have to showcase with the Evo armor. Because this, this is, this is key. Okay. We're just gonna get the shield all the way up to red and we can do it a few times for you guys. Really? Okay, so let's grab some more shield cells. So this one, this is one is more defensive, but healing is a huge thing. Have you ever been in a situation where you're fighting a team, whether it's one, two, three, five enemies, and oh man, I have this guy, he's one shot, Wraith is one shot, no armor, Oop, no armor, and we just got kicked out of the game. This sucks for the video. Let's go back into the firing range. We just got kicked out. What the heck, EA? What the heck, Respawn? Put me back in the game. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. All right, cut us back in. Okay. All right, we're back, guys. So have you ever been in a situation where you're fighting multiple teammates and, you know, you're like, oh, you got this guy down. He's almost one shot. <laughs> You know, and it seems like you're fighting them all and you're like, holy crap, where's my team at? Well, a lot of that is your teammate is healing and they just haven't told you that they're healing. I cannot stress this enough. This is a big bugaboo of mine, especially if you're ever in a situation like I am right now. So let's say I dealt all this damage. This guy's cracked. My teammate's fighting, right? 
So I don't want to be like, oh shoot, I'm cracked. I'm cracked. I'm going back. I'm popping a shield, guys. Popping a shield. I'm healing. I'm healing. Okay, popping a shield. Oh, I'm popping a medi. I'm popping a, a med kit. One of my favorite ones I like to use is, hey, you're all by yourself. I'm healing. Or this is a good one. You're all by yourself. It's going to be a second. I'm popping a phoenix. You know, popping a med, a bat, a shield cell, a syringe. Letting your teammates know that you are out healing is probably one of the probably one of the more important things than any of the other call outs. You know, it's good to have the other ones, but letting your teammates know that you are healing is huge because if I'm fighting these two guys here and he's low, okay, he's down. I can make a conscious decision to like, oh, I could shield too. Or I play cover and wait for my team to come back after he's finished healing. So that way I don't over pursue and die. Okay. You don't want to, you know, numbers in this game is huge. I can tell you from playing that, you know, if there's three of us and we drop one guy and there's only two left, we are charging in. Okay. Now, if my two, we drop one and, and one of them laser me and I need to heal. I'm going to let my teammates know. Pop in the shield. Pop in the shield. I can't help you. I can't help you. You're all by yourself. Pop in this. Let your teammates know that you are healing. Okay. Let your teammates know that you are healing. This is a big, 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 big issue in Apex Legends. Comms have always been a problem in Battle Royales. They've always been an issue just in general with players. But these comms that I just went over are going to help you become a better player. You're going to have more fun and you're going to have a big boost of confidence when you play this game. Okay, so now that we've gone over all the comms, I want to jump into some of these clips. These are live clips that I've taken from my stream. And you guys can see how they work in a live environment. Let's hop right into those clips. Right here, right here, right here. Left or right? Left or right? Left or right on my ping going down into the gully. Ooh, he's got a charge rifle. Dude, I stuck him. Crack Pathfinder. Pathfinder's completely cracked. All right, let's push towards zone, dude. Nope, players in here. Great purple. She is shot, dude. You doing, man? Enemy taken down. Yeah, players are here. Making contact with enemy. Pathfinder in the bang. Look out. Watch out! Watch out! Two grenades. What are these guys doing, man? Give me that Evo shield. It's going to work this time, damn it. Oh, fuck. Dude, you're all by yourself, dude. Almost got this mech hit off. Yeah, yeah. Popping this medi. Hey, 20 damage. They're, out, they're above us. They're above us. Welcome back, guys. I hope that this video has really helped you out. These are all the comms that you need to know in Apex Legends to help improve your gameplay. Let me know if there's any comms that I didn't mention in this video that you guys use in your gameplay. I'd really like to know those. Also, as a reminder, I do stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Twitch, guys. The link is going to be down in the description below. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. That does help me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the Warriors, okay? Turn on notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends tips. And for me, Warlog, as always, stay gaming, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.